Spotify's mission is to connect a million creators all over the globe with a billion different consumers. So uh, our goal is to empower creators and also create a really immersive listening experience for all of the consumers that we have today and hopefully the consumers will have in the future. With the amazing community that's grown up around Kubernetes, we wanted to be part of that and to leverage it to gain from some of the great features that we didn't have in our homegrown system and benefit from added velocity, reduced cost, and also align with the rest of the industry on best practices and tools. Having the CNCF is a great validation of the support that the community has um, decided to invest in these technologies and to know that it's not just a single company that's contributing to it, that there are hundreds, in some cases thousands of contributors, uh, and to know that it's not only Kubernetes now, but a whole ecosystem of products and projects that have grown up around it and just really excited to see what comes next in the next few years for CNCF. A small percentage of our fleet has been migrated to Kubernetes and some of the things that we've heard from our customers are that they have less of a need to focus on manual capacity provisioning, which is great, and more time to focus on delivering features for Spotify. Um, so that's been a really key factor for us. We also think that the utilization that we can get with Kubernetes bin packing is a significant win for us going forward. We are going to focus on Kubernetes migration for 2019. We have a few services with gRPC. We want to continue to go from our homegrown messaging platform towards gRPC both on the back end as well as for web clients. In addition to that we are looking at distributed tracing so uh, open tracing, open census figure into that. One thing in particular that has impressed me is the uptake in an Envoy and how that has matured. It's something that we're using on the perimeter in production for a few of our services and something we think with Istio has a lot of potential for us going forward. Our use case is going to be specific. What we've found to be really effective is to start small, to have experiments, to validate those experiments and then to grow from there. Um, we find that there's a lot of excitement in these technologies and if we can validate them with real world use cases, prove that out and then build from there, it's a good strategy. Cloud Native has immense possibilities. We're all developers and if we can actually get into it, we can level up all those possibilities even further.